Good morning, everyone. So I wanted to look at the idea of facing our inner committee. <laughs> what inner committee could I possibly be talking about? <laughs> I don't know if you experience this, but I'm referring to this inner committee that I've become aware of in my mind. It's like all these sub-personalities and voices in my head. Um, and this committee is really 100% dedicated to telling us what we need to do, when to do it, how to do it, what not to do, when not to do it, how not to do it. Also, whether or not we should be feeling good about ourselves, uh, whether or not we should be feeling like we're doing well right now, how to think and feel about others and situations in our lives. And let me tell you, I have noticed that this committee is often in disagreement. <laughs> it isn't one very harmonious, peaceful voice going on in the head. Now, some committee members are encouraging. You know, they open us up to new experiences of love, of joy, of fulfillment, coaching us to accept greater good and share that goodness with others. You know, it's the committee members that say, absolutely, that's a, a way you can experience joy. That's a way that you can be creative and give to the world. That is a way to experience your abundance. Absolutely, go for it. You have that in you. Absolutely, you are whole, perfect, and complete. Have the greatest, happiest life you possibly can. But, <laughs> more often than I think we'd like, some very loud committee members um, aren't necessarily overly impressed <laughs> with the way we're showing up at the moment. They're not particularly impressed with conditions in our lives. And uh, they seem to be very vocal about it. I remember I was so struck by an idea that Dr. Mark presented many, many years back, but it always stuck in my mind of this idea that if we could walk around with a megaphone attached to our heads and the inner dialogue of what we're telling ourselves were being blasted out and people thought we were talking about them, how far do we think we would get before we'd have some kind of very unpleasant confrontation? <laughs> But isn't it true? Isn't it true that our inner committee very often hammers away at us, telling us everything that's wrong with our lives, everything that we need to change about ourselves? And when we let it go unchecked, have we noticed how uncomfortable, how badly we feel about ourselves and situations in our lives? So I thought it was worth asking the question, who is this inner committee? Who hired them? <laughs> Where's my HR department? <laughs> Our subconscious thoughts and beliefs basically show up as these voices, as these committee members that start telling us about what we think and what we should feel. You know, in Science of Mind, we emphasize over and over again that the, what we believe about ourselves what we believe about the world and others has a direct bearing on how we experience life. So the more we see the truth that God's goodness, that pure love of God is our true nature, that it is in everything and everyone, including us, the more we experience that goodness in our lives. You know, for every way that these beliefs um, are positive, they show up as a committee member in our head that reminds us of that goodness in us and encourages us to experience and express it more fully. At the same time, for every way that we falsely believe ourselves to be separate from God, and I remind you that is a false belief, we may feel it, we may think we're separate, but no matter how separate we may feel, God is right there. Well, in those ways that we believe that our life conditions define us, that our past defines us, the more our committee members start to degrade us, start you know, yelling at us, 
start telling us about everything that's wrong about us and the world around us. So I think it really behooves us to pay attention to that inner dialogue of the committee to see what's going on and notice when the dialogue of the committee doesn't serve us.